Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today, with an awesome tool that you are going to love. This is the Win2 USB, which will replace Rufus. And besides replacing, it will do a lot more. Now, this tool will allow us to create a USB pen drive that we will be able to install Windows 10 or Windows 11. It will download the ISO file, the current ISO file from Microsoft servers, and it will bypass the Microsoft account requirements so that we can install without having to use a Microsoft account, which is awesome. But Rufus already did this. Now, win to usb also is able to create a Windows 10 or Windows 11 portable installation which means that I can put my operating system right over here, use it on this computer, and then remove it from this computer and use on another computer on the same operating system with the same apps, everything, documents, like I have my computer right over here, which is awesome. Now we have two choices. I can do a clean installation to use portable, or I can clone my system and then use it on other computers and that's the most interesting part of win to usb that being said let's go straight for it and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oem keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below on my screen i already have win to usb but to download you just need to go to google search for win to usb you will get to this page as leo software there are several products we will use win to usb just press learn more and then we just need to press download download to our computer and install it that is it simple as this just out of curiosity, if we go to comparison, we will see that the version that we are going to use is completely free. It will allow us to do everything and more. But there are other two versions, so you can check out some of the differences. These are the paid versions, which for this we don't need. Let's close this and we have the app here. And I do have an ISO that I did download. I will leave the link on the YouTube cards and also down below how you can install the latest version of Windows 24H2 on any computer just in case you want to check that out now there are three options when we open the app this is the one that we will be using more which is to create a usb installation pen this is the one that we will use less i guess which is to do an installation pen of windows PA, which will allow us to troubleshoot machines and to deploy on uh, multiple machines and so on which is something that i usually don't do right over here and probably you won't as well and then lastly, this one right over here, which is, I don't know, we will use once or twice to create our installation, but this is the one that captures my curiosity, which is the Windows Portable. So let's explore this. Starting with the Windows installation USB, we have uh, the option to select the source. And this source, I can browse my image, which is this one right over here that I already downloaded, or I can select to download ISO um, from Microsoft service. So I just need to select Windows 11 or Windows 10 and select 11 and then it will automatically detect the latest version which is Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 and then we can select the language in case of Windows 11 we can only select 64 bits and it will give us the download link then we just need to select the location to save and press proceed and it will save on our computer. You can see that we can have a link right over there that we can copy and paste on our browser in case we want to download it directly. Now, the only downside that I did see or disadvantage compared to Rufus is that Rufus will download and install. And right over here, we will download to a folder and then we will go to the process, which is right over here, and we will select the image that we downloaded. So let's browse file image. In my particular case, I'm going to use this one right over here. And it's going to ask me select destination drive, which I will need to put in my USB drive on the computer. And once it's detected, I just need to come here and refresh and I can select my destination drive. So I can select this Kingston Data Traveler. And right over here, we will need to select if we want 
MBR for BIOS and UFI, or if I just want for UFI or for BIOS. Usually, latest computers or recent computers will use UFI, older computers, BIOS. If you're not sure, just select this one right over here, which is the default one, and you will be just fine. We can also select bypass Windows 11 system requirements, so we can install on any computer, and we can also bypass Microsoft account requirements, which will allow us to log in without a Microsoft account. Once we have this selected, we just need to press proceed and it will create our USB drive. Now it's a fast process, but with the YouTube magic is even faster. I did try it for myself, works great. So if you want to create a USB pen drive, Win to USB will allow us to do that. Once we have our USB pen drive ready, we can install on any computer. Now let's go back to home and take a look at Windows to go USB, which is the one that matters most. So let's press here. Now this is something that we have done here in the past. I've done for Windows computer and for Mac computer so that we can use the operating system on a portable drive. I would suggest not to use any USB drive because they are slow. I would suggest to use something which is a bit faster. Now this one is the new Rocket Nano. It will have speeds up to 2700 megabytes per second, which is a lot. So if you are looking for a system that it's fast enough on external SSDs. This is a great solution. I still haven't tested out, just arrived last week, but I will share with you in a couple of days. And this would be my suggestion for a external operating system. As I was saying, I will leave some links down below because we have done in the past, but with complicated process where we had tutorials step-by-step step that I did share with you. With Win to USB, this looks really, really easy. And just with a few steps, we will have our installation. So the first step is to select installation source, which I can browse the image that I already downloaded, Windows 11 24H2, or I can select the current Windows OS. And it will say that used 73.72. This is the old operating system that I've got on this laptop. By the way, the laptop is the N1, which is the one that I'm using. It has two screens, will allow me to record this kind of videos in a really cool way. OBS down here and then the full screen right over here. If you're looking for a budget laptop with all these features, I'll link down below as well. But the main point is that I can clone this laptop to an external drive and then use it on any computer with this option right over here. And then the last option is to download the ISO like we did before, so let's not do that. Let's imagine that I want to create a clean installation of Windows 11. I just need to browse select my ISO and right over here we will have the windows that we selected Windows 11 Home or Pro Edition which is what we have on that particular image that we downloaded so if I want Windows 11 Pro there we go then we will need to select the destination drive now at this moment I don't have any uh, destination drive that could be suitable but I can select the Kingston that uh, traveler it will give me a error which will say this competition space is insufficient yeah it's only eight gigabytes, we would need at least 74 gigabytes. I don't remember the exact number that was before on the cloning, but if I was doing a cloning, it would be almost 80 gigabytes. For this installation, I would require at least 20 gigabytes and yeah, working with eight. Right now, we would need to select which uh, partition shim we want. And if you are not sure, like we did before, I would select both MBR for BIOS and US. By, and then we will also have the option for the installation mode, additional drivers, which means that if I want to put in some more drivers, I will be able to do so. I'm really curious to test this out because this is the only thing that I didn't yet. And I will test out without drivers to see if my laptop will be able to achieve a full clone to an external drive and then use it on my desktop or any other laptop. Once we have deselected, we also have the option for passwords, compatible modes, and use 255-bit encryption. Once it's done, proceed, and that is it. So you can see how easy it is compared to the other guides that I did tell you that I will leave down below, which are ultra complicated, and we needed so much attention and so many steps to achieve a really awesome setup of having Windows on a portable drive. And basically, that is it. I'm going to put it on home. Hopefully, you've enjoyed to know Windows to USB. If you did, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so, so that you can receive 
notifications when I do release this kind of videos, which are really interesting to me and hopefully to you as well. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.